I'm working on replacing the bumper here. So I have this new one that I picked up at the wrecking yard. And this has a metric ton of rust and garbage in it. So I'm going to try and clean this out and then treat it with trim clad, I guess. Wow, look, I'm actually on camera for a change. So I'm putting metal polish on the DA to polish this chrome. You gotta come down here. So this is why you need it to stand up. Is that right? See, we're gonna polish this bit here. You yeah. can see my finger. First, put the auto saw on. It's starting to rain too. Okay, over here. So I've got the metal polish on a cutting pad, which is already pretty chewed up. See the difference? Do you see it? I do. I'm not talking to the camera, I'm talking to you. You see that difference. <laughs> yeah, it was really cloudy before. And that is post polish rubbed down with a rag. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Started pulling this out. Found another mouse nest. It's all full of dirt and rot. And these aren't meant to be here at all, and of course the whole thing's rotting away as well. So I don't feel like this bumper had much life left in it regardless. Might as well show that's what the car looks like with no bumper on it. Uh, and of course here's the rotted out original. And this is the unrotted new one. So that is the bump strip. That goes underneath the license plate. This does not have huge holes in it, and it's been rust treated. And over there, you can see the pods. They've just been sprayed for rust in there, curing. I'm going to assemble this, and we'll slam it back on there. Oh, there we go. So we have the new bumper on. It looks really nice. So there's no whopping great big dent. In it here where the previous owner backed into it and another dent here where they backed into something else. So that's looking really sweet.